A commercial kitchen is a busy, active workplace. At peak times, there's a lot happening. Employees are continually entering and leaving the kitchen and moving around other employees and equipment. That's why it's important to be aware of the possibility of slip and fall accidents and to do everything possible to minimize the risk of these hazards. Slipping and falling on a floor that has not been cleaned effectively is an all too common occurrence in industrial and institutional kitchens. These types of accidents can cause serious injuries. Keeping floors clear of spills, debris and clutter is a big step toward preventing slips and falls. In addition, an effective floor cleaning product and proper cleaning techniques will create a safer workplace. The revolutionary No Rinse Wash and Walk system was designed specifically to fight and eliminate the grease buildup that leads to hazardous kitchen floors. The grease in a kitchen builds up over time and packs itself into the tile grout or pores of the floor surface. Wetting the floor and using a squeegee can spread the grease onto the entire surface, creating a slippery floor. Wash and Walk's breakthrough technology uses enzymes that literally eat the grease buildup during and after application. The best part is that the Wash and Walk formula is made to work most effectively without the normal rinse step. There's no need to ever rinse again. The key is to thoroughly wash the floor and then leave the cleaner on the floor to continue its work. Just wash and walk. The enzymes will continue to work in the low areas of the floor and eat away at grease, breaking the particles down until it's gone. Wash and Walk has been proven to increase the friction of slippery kitchen floors. Skipping the rinse step saves time and money. By eating the grease off the floors, Wash and Walk helps reduce slips and falls. Wash and Walk is safer, cleaner, and faster. The process is simple. Seven steps is all you need to follow to make the Wash and Walk system work for you. Here's how it works. Before beginning, make sure you have the proper safety cones and chains needed to warn others of a potentially hazardous wet floor area. You should also be wearing proper footwear with slip-resistant soles. Athletic shoes do not provide the proper grip for a kitchen environment. Your manager can help you find the right kind of shoes for the job. You are now ready to begin the seven-step wash and walk cleaning process. Step one is to wipe up any spills and sweep the floor clear of food crumbs or other trash. A broom and dustpan will take care of any debris on the floor. Second, fill a mop bucket with solution using the wash and walk dispenser. Simply pushing the button on the dispenser will provide the proper formula for effective cleaning. Remember, you should always read the label information and material safety data sheet before using any cleaning product. Step three is to thoroughly apply the wash and walk cleaner to the floor with a mop. Don't wring the mop head. Apply a generous amount of product, drenching the floor surface. Make sure you apply plenty of product to the entire floor surface in the area in which you are working. If you started on one end of the kitchen and worked your way to the other end, you can return immediately to where you began and start the deck brushing in step five. If you are only cleaning a very small area, you need to give the solution a few minutes to penetrate any grease and soil. Again, make sure you have any wet floor areas clearly marked with safety cones or chains. At step five, you will scrub the floor with a stiff bristle brush. Use a little pressure to help break up soils stuck to the surface. In step six, use a squeegee to direct the excess water to a floor drain. You can also use a mop to pick up any standing water. Step seven is critical. Do not rinse the floor. It's very important that you do not make the mistake of rinsing the product from the floor. Simply walk away and allow the floor to air dry. Wash and Walk's enzymes will continue to attack and break down the grease and soil. Just leave it and let it work. That's all it takes to win the battle against greasy and grimy kitchen floors. The no rinse process involves fewer steps than normally used in floor cleaning, yet it makes floors cleaner and safer to walk on. 
It only takes a few weeks to completely eat even the toughest long-term grease buildup. Then use Wash & Walk every day to keep quarry tile and other floors free of the grease that accumulates and causes slippery surfaces. In summary, take the following steps to help make your kitchen a safer place. Practice good housekeeping. Promptly wipe up any spills that occur and sweep the floor as often as necessary to keep it clear of food and trash. Ice cubes especially can create a hazard if they are left on the floor. Use a squeegee to direct excess water to drains, especially in dish rooms where standing water can accumulate. Keep walkways and other areas clear of boxes or other clutter. Always wear proper footwear with slip-resistant soles. Be sure to use safety cones or chains as a barrier to warn others of a wet and potentially slippery floor. Following these basic practices and the seven steps of the wash and walk system can help you avoid the potential hazards of a busy kitchen. Wash and walk and a concern for safety can go a long way to prevent slips, trips and falls.